I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm gonna show you three front arm attacks from the Philly Show boxing position. So if you're using this kind of stance, this kind of style, you need to have attacks with your front arm and different variations of attacks with your front arm. And the reason why is because your face is exposed on this side. So if this arm is not threatening, you're gonna leave yourself in a world of trouble. This arm has to be a threat. So that especially if they wanna come in on you, they pay for it. And it's not enough for you to just be like this and jab and be like this and, and that's not gonna work. All trained opponents, they know how to get past that. They'll slip the jab and they're gonna run up behind you. So if you try to shoulder roll on them, right? So he jabs, boom, and then he tries a shoulder roll, it's too late. I'm gonna end up behind him on this side and there's very little he can do. So today I'm gonna show you a couple different options you can use. So the first one from here, from here from this Philly shell, uh, I wanna say this, don't wrap your hand here. When you wrap this left arm here, it's too slow, to, it, it can't do anything. Put it here. So if you use a shell, Philly shell, you can start from this to this to this, and then with, even with this out here, there's so much more you can threaten with it. So first one you can do from here, if I have more of a back leaning position like this, I will use the strength of my lat, my lateral muscle, this right here, is gonna push out, like that, boom. It's very powerful, and he's gonna catch it. Again, okay? It's a very powerful shot, it's a precision shot. I probably will not use this to pop, okay? I would not go pop, pop, pop. I wouldn't use it, because when you pop like this, because of this back lean position, my face is in the air, I could eat a right hand. There you go, and you're done. The other option you can use with this Philly shell position is I'm here, I'm a little more forward, and when you see, when I'm forward, my lat is aiming behind me, but my shoulder's aiming that way, right? If I do this, my lat aims forward, my shoulder aims that way. So there you use a lat muscle. We aim like this, now you use a shoulder muscle. So it's like a cannon. Okay, so you're gonna feel this one. Now, when I do the, when, when you wanna pop jabs, like just pop, 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 box and pop, 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 look pretty, that's using the forward position. And I'll show you what happens if he throws his right hand. Boom, again, again, boom, like that, okay? So you just stay forward, touch, touch, boom, boom. And you use a pull, use a pull counter, right? But if you're here, you can't pull counter anymore because you, you, you put all your weight back, there's nowhere to go. Now, on to the next option. So sorry, the first option was that you use either that the shoulder pop or use that hard, strong left jab, bah! right? That one's very, very powerful. Okay, second option, what we're gonna do from here is that when he comes in, I'm gonna just hook him over the top. So I'm gonna go this way. If he gets close to me, and let's say he steps in. There you go, he throws the right hand. Throws the right hand. Okay, or a jab, step jab. Okay, or let's say he gets real aggressive and he runs after me. Okay, something like that. Now the angle that I'm looking for when I'm in this position, I don't keep my head up. My goal is I need to keep my head down, and now I'm gonna switch this back to this angle. I wanna put my head down a little so that when he throws the right hand, it goes down so I can pop up. Boom, right, and ideally he's leaning in. Boom, boom, that's what I want. The more aggressive, the better. If he's not aggressive, then that's fine. I was able to neutralize him, I can use a relaxing stance, and he's not threatening me at all. The last option we have is we use the up jab. So. I'm gonna show this punch separately in another video, but you'll see it a little bit right now. From here, doesn't look like I can threaten with anything other than this. There you go. Ice, right? Ice, ice. Or, boom, ice, ice. So use the up jab. Now when you turn out like this, here, it really helps you get this right hand out, so use that. There are many fighters that they think, oh, when you're doing Philly Shell, they only focus on turning here. Actually, no. Focus turning here, boom, boom. Then turn away, boom, again. So use both turns, right? The Philly Shell is not just this. You can use this angle too. And I love this angle because it's so powerful. It keeps my, it, it's, it's much safer than you think. It's not, it's not a, a vulnerable position. And you have this right hand that you can bring into play. Whereas if you're like this the whole time, the right hand's stuck, they end up running behind you and you're in a whole world of trouble. If you enjoyed these tips, I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my website, expertboxing.com. Thanks for watching. Good?